Hello everyone, I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and this is our Dirt Bike Tire Buyer's Guide. All right, so in this video today, we wanna to share with you some of our top picks and our best selling dirt bike tires. Now listen, dirt bike tires, it's a tricky subject. We have a lot of great tires that we offer at Rocky Mountain. And we know that everyone has their opinion and why they like the tires that they ride on. But ultimately, it's just gonna come down to rider comfort. A lot of riders will find a set of tires that they really like and they'll stick to that set of tires because they, they know how they react, how they handle in certain conditions. But if you're new to this, or maybe you're just looking to switch it up and try out a different set, well, then this video is really gonna help you out. Now keep in mind, if you do wanna learn more about tires in general, we do have a tires one-on-one -on -one video where we talk about the different tread designs, the different compounds also, your hard, your medium, your soft terrain. That will give you a really good idea of what type of tire that you should be using depending on the style of riding that you like to do. So remember, give that a watch. But also keep in mind, if you do not see a tire up here that you have that you really like in our guide today, well make sure comment below, let us know what tire that you have, what you like about it. That's really gonna help other riders out who are looking to pick up their next set. But with all that out of the way, let's get started with our sand and dew tires. All right, so first up, let's talk about dune tires. Now look, if you are going to the dunes without a doubt, if you want the best experience possible and have the most fun, you definitely want a paddle tire on your bike. Nothing will compare to how much drive and traction you can get by having a paddle tire on your bike. Yes, you can get away just using a knobby. I've done it before, but trust me, you definitely want to have a paddle tire on there. Now we've got two options up here on the table. Both are some of our best selling year after year. We've got the CST Surge. We've also got the Sedona Dunatic. Now both of these are gonna be great options. Both these are very popular again year after year. They do a great job, very simple. What I like about paddle tires, very affordable. If you're not familiar with the paddle tire, well, the name says it all. If you look at these, you can see you've got these very large scoops going all the way around the tire. Those give incredible traction forward drive, again, in that really soft, sandy conditions that you're gonna have at the dunes. Now with these, both are gonna be great options. You couldn't go wrong with either one. If you want to, you could ask questions on the product page for these, get answers from customers who are using these exact tires. You can read rider reviews. What I do like about the CST Surge is that they, use, they utilize a specific tread compound to help reduce chunking. Now one thing you wanna consider if you're choosing between these two tires is how many paddles you want on your tire. So both these come in an eight paddle, but the Sedona Dune Tick also has a 10 paddle as well. Now for your smaller bike, so say a 250, you're gonna want an eight paddle on there. But for your larger bike, say you have a 450 or maybe a 500 two stroke, and you want those extra two paddles to get even more drive, then I would say yes, you wanna go with the 10 paddle from Sedona, that's gonna be a killer option. But either way, both are gonna be very good tires, you can't go wrong with either one. Now moving on from those, we have our sand and mud tire, and the choice that we have up here on the table this is the MX-12 from Dunlop. This is a newer tire, it replaced the MX-11, which for years was a very popular tire. So if you look at the rear tire, it's kind of a hybrid between a traditional knobby tire and a dune tire. If you look at the tread design, you can see here that the center treads, or excuse me, center lugs are more of a scoop design. They use their V-block technology. So in sand and muddy conditions. So think if you watch Pro Motocross, think of Southwick, or when they have those mudder races, this is the type of tire that those riders are gonna be using. So those center lugs, okay, those V-block scoops are gonna give very good drive in those soft, loamy, sandy, or wet and muddy conditions. But what I like, is if you look at the side lugs here, you can see that it has more of that traditional lug that you would see on a regular knobby tire. And what I like too, so if you're in those sandy conditions, wet and muddy, but maybe you do get down to a hard base, having those aggressive lugs on the sidewall are gonna help with that cornering traction, that stability. And what I like about the new MX-12 that is different from the MX-11 is you are now seeing them incorporate their block in a block technology, which I think is awesome. So you see that here on these side lugs. So what that actually does, just like the name says, you have essentially a block inside a block. That that just gives you more biting edges, a little bit more lean over traction. So that's the MX-12 rear tire. Again, very popular for sand and mud conditions. Now when it comes to a front tire for sand and mud, we've also got the MX-12 front tire up here as well. So very unique tread design, very different than you know a regular knobby tire that most riders are used to. If you look at it, it has a unique, thinner, more cross-shaped tread design here. And what this is ultimately designed to do 
is one, do a great job of self-cleaning. The last thing you want with a sand mud tire is for mud to pack in there. So that is designed to optimize that self-cleaning, but also with that tread design, does a great job of just really digging into that sand and that mud and giving you good straight line stability. Now keep in mind, with dune tires, a lot of riders will ask, well, what type of front tire should I use? And honestly, most riders with a dune or a paddle tire will just use a soft to intermediate train front tire. That's what I've always done. They've, they work great. But if you do want a sand specific tire, that MX-12 is going to be a great option. So those are our top picks and our best selling when it comes to dunes and for sand and mud. All right, so let's talk about soft tires. Now we've got two tires up here on the table that we wanna show you that I've used personally that we are big fans of. One is the Starcross 5 Soft from Michelin. The other is the MX-33 from Dunlop. So we'll start with the Starcross 5 Soft. So with this tire, it came out a few years ago. It's been very popular. Like I said, I've used it. I'm a big fan. I'll kind of point out the features that I really like about it. So starting with the rear. What I like, nice spread out lug design. So this tire really does a great job with self-cleaning so that mud, that sand does not pack in. But what I like too is you have these mud phobic bars going in between the center tread lugs. Those are to help promote self-cleaning so that mud and dirt does not pack in. You also have these very fine lines you can see all the way throughout the entire tire. Those, again, are just to help with self-cleaning. So very good traction, great grip, even as the track starts to dry out a little bit, still offers great traction. Now at the front tire, I will say, in my opinion, that the Starcross 5 front tire gives the most bite of any front tire that I have ever used. If that's really what you are looking for, this is definitely a tire that I would recommend. They did a great job with that tread design. And as you can see here, just like with that rear tire, you are getting those little tiny bars here in between the tread lugs. Again, that's gonna help with that self-cleaning. The last thing I wanna point out, I forgot to mention, is Michelin, they use our comfort casing technology. So what it did is actually lighten up the tire, so it's a very lightweight tire. It just helps give a little bit more flex and shock absorption with that sidewall. Now moving on from the Starcross Soft, we now have the MX-33 from Dunlop. This is new for 2018. It replaced the old MX-3S, which without a doubt was one of the most popular dirt bike tires out there. But what I love is that new for 2018, it is new and improved. So we'll start with the rear. So what I really like about the rear tire, if you look at these center tread lugs, they are very tall, very large, almost like a scoop. And in my opinion, this tire gives the best forward drive of any soft intermediate train tire that is out there. So very good forward drive. Also, you will notice that with these side lugs, again, they're utilizing that block and a block. So more biting edges, more contact area with the ground. Also, they've improved the amount of lug that you're getting on the rear tire. So more rubber means more contact with ground, better grip. And what I like too is that with the front, the soft, or excuse me, the rear and the front tire, they're utilizing a new rubber compound to add to the durability. When the old set of tires, especially the front, a lot of riders complained about how you would rip or tear knobbies off. So what they've actually done along with that new tread compound, they are utilizing these tie bars in between the tread lugs, both on the front and the rear to strengthen those. And you're gonna now see that with the front tire, you've got their block and a block technology on the side lugs, again, just to give better lean over traction, better control. I'm a big fan, I've used this new set of tires, they do a great job. And with that front tire, it is very, very close and very comparable to that Starcross 5 soft when it comes to biting edge. Now with the Star, or excuse me, with the MX-33, this is a soft intermediate tire. So remember, it's one of our top picks for soft terrain, but it also transitions extremely well into intermediate. So if you ride a mixture of soft intermediate, this would definitely be one of our top picks for intermediate as well, which leads us into our next category for intermediate tires. All right, so for intermediate terrain, we've got our two top picks up on the table. We've got the Maxxis Max IT Desert. We've got the Battlecross X30 coming from Bridgestone. So for all you desert riders out there, the Maxxis Max IT Desert's been around for a very long time, tried and true, very popular tire if you read rider reviews. And what's unique about this is for desert terrain, that's what intermediate, or the IT stands for intermediate, is it has a special compound that Maxxis uses to help give better durability, reduce chunking in the desert and rocky terrain. And also what's unique with the front and the rear is it actually utilizes a stiffer carcass, which is gonna minimize flex, which helps reduce his pinch flat. So if you're a desert rider, that's the type of tire that you're looking for. This is a tire that we would recommend. Now moving over, we've got the Battlecross X30 coming from Bridgestone. So another very popular intermediate tire. And what I've noticed most about this tire, because I've used it personally, a couple things for me that right off the bat stand out is one price point. If you wanna save a few bucks, Bridgestone always has great prices on their tires. And the other is durability. I really feel like with these tires, it's a tire that for me lasts a long time. So if you're that kind of rider, you don't like to fork over cash all the time to keep your tires nice and fresh, well, I think you get great durability out of these. So a couple unique features about these. If we look at the rear, Bridgestone uses what they call their castle block technology. 
So you can see here that with the lugs in the center and on the sides, they have a second tread lug inside the main lug. That's gonna get more biting edges. It's gonna get better contact with the ground. So if you do get down to a harder base, that's gonna give some added grip. And also with these side lugs here, they use a convex side lug. So, and that lean angle does a great job of staying planted to the ground, give you good traction. Another unique feature about the X30, if you look at the sidewall here, they use what they call their cooling fins or their anti-degradation fins. And what these are actually designed to do is we know that rubber and heat, they do not mix, they don't play nicely, and as a tire gets hot, that air pressure will actually start to increase inside the tire, which doesn't give you a real consistent performance. So by having these cooling fins around the outside, it's going to help dissipate heat just to make the tire more consistent. Looking at the front, again, great durability. What I like about it is an asymmetrical tread design. So if you look at the sides, it's not going to be the exact same on each side. So that's just going to just really help optimize your lean angle traction. Now with these tires, like I said, great durability, great price point. Now the only thing, in my opinion, that I feel you sacrifice with the front tire is going to be with the traction. In my opinion, it just doesn't give as much front end bite as these soft terrain tires that we just covered just a minute ago. But overall, price point, durability, I don't think you can beat it. So those are our two top picks for intermediate tires. All right, so for hard terrain, we've got two tires up here we wanna show you. We've got the Geomax MX-52 from Dunlop. We've got the 505 Cheater coming from Shinko. So with the MX-52 from Dunlop, what's unique about Dunlop is they actually only have two tires that cover the entire spectrum from soft all the way up to hard terrain. So the MX-52 is actually an intermediate to hard terrain tire. So if you ride an intermediate terrain and then also you get hard packed as well, this is gonna be a tire that transitions extremely well. And this is by far one of the most popular hard packed tires. In fact, a lot of riders at Rocky Mountain like this tire because they go ride at the track for a day, but we also like to go down to Moab a lot and hit up the Slick Rock. So this tire transitions extremely well from those different terrains. So looking at it, compared to the MX-33, obviously there's gonna be some differences. The tread lugs are gonna be spaced closer together. It's gonna to give more contact patch with the ground, increase your grip on those hard surfaces. And these center tread lugs here are a little bit staggered. And then, but what I do like, as you can see on the sidewall, you're still getting that block and a block technology. So when you lean this tire over, again, more biting edges gonna really help with that grip. Looking at the front tire, again, tread lugs a little bit closer together does extremely well on those intermediate hard pack terrain surfaces. So if that's really the type of ride that you like to do, this would be an awesome option. Now moving on from the MX-52, we've got the 505 Cheater coming from Shinko. Now over the years, we've actually been seeing a trend in the marketplace where a lot of riders that do a lot of technical riding, so hard pack trails, rocks, logs, roots, wet surfaces, or slick rock like we do down in Moab, they really like to use a trials tire because trials tires utilize a softer rubber compound which gives really good grip in those conditions. However, a trials tire is obviously not going to be as good in off-road conditions as an off-road tire. And that is why manufacturers started making hybrid tires like this 505 Cheater. So if you look at it, you can see it's a very aggressive tread design. So if you are doing some off-road riding, you're gonna be covered. But what's unique is that they utilize a softer rubber compound like a trials tire. So when you are doing that technical riding that we just mentioned, it's gonna optimize the amount of grip that you're getting. So if you spend a little time off-road, but a lot of time on those hard pack trails, those technical terrains, then the 505 Cheater is gonna be an awesome choice. Now, the last thing I do wanna mention with this tire is that they don't make a front tire to go along with it. So what we'd recommend is just pair it up with one of your favorite intermediate or hard terrain front tires, and you're gonna be good to go. All right, so last but not least, we've got some of our favorite trail tires as well as trials tires. And the first one that we wanna show you is the Kenda Equilibrium. Now this tire, just like with that Shinko 505 we just showed you, is also a hybrid style tire. But the reason that we have it for trail riding is because when you look at it compared to that Shinko 505, it's not gonna have as aggressive tread design. So for us, we think that this is gonna be a little bit better fit for riders that stick primarily to trails. But a couple of features about it we really like. If you look at the tread design here, these center tread lugs, very similar to a trial style tire, very soft rubber compound that they're using with this. But what I like is that with these center tread lugs, they actually incorporated these braking scoops. That is something that a trials tire is really not known for is having good braking characteristics, not really what they're designed for. So Kenda put these braking scoops on there to help with that. But then if you look at the sidewall, you are gonna see you've got those aggressive motocross style tread lugs. So when you are cornering, leaning the bike over, that's gonna give a lot more grip grip. And also with this tire, also with that Shinko 505, you are going to get a little bit stiffer sidewall as well. So for tra trail riding, that's primarily what you stick to. This is an awesome tire. Now the two trials tires that we want to show you that we really like are the D803 GP from Dunlop and the Michelin Trials X Lite. Now both of these tires 
like I said before, they utilize a very soft rubber compound. And when you actually grab these, you can feel just how sticky and soft this rubber is. So you know that these are gonna hook up on those hard pack wet, you know, slick surfaces. But with the D803 GP, very affordable price points, been around a long time, very popular. We've used it for years. Great all around trials tire. Again, whether you're using it for trail riding or for trials. But if you want our opinion, if you wanna know what we feel is the best trials tire Trials tire, excuse me, that is out there, it's gonna be the Trials X Lite coming from Michelin. You gotta get out your pocketbook for this tire, but it has a great reputation. And from the previous version, they made a lot of great updates to it. It's a pound lighter, over a pound lighter than the predecessor. They also did stiffen up the sidewall just a little bit and they made the tread lugs a little bit more flexible. So overall, a very high performing tire. Again, just a little pricey, but if you want the best of what's out there, it's gonna be the Trials X Lite coming from Michelin. All right, everyone, so there you have it. Those are some of our top picks and our best-selling dirt bike tires. Now, remember, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to learn more about tires in general, watch our Tires 101 video. And if you have a tire that you did not see up in our guide today, well, make sure to comment below. Let us know what that is. If you have one of the tires that we did talk about today, even better, comment below. Let us know about that tire. Again, that's going to really help other riders out. To pick up your next set, it is very simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video. If you like this buyer's guide, well, do not hesitate. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that's going to keep you up to date. And as always, orders over 75 bucks ship free. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.